In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create pad sample charts in Tableau. I will be using Tableau Sample Superstore dataset and to densify the data, I will just create uh, some WA data to one and three seventy, and just copy this into Tableau. I will create a data source. So once you are here, uh, just edit the relationship and we'll just use a condition as one so that it creates a cross join. So if you are using a pre-2019.4 uh, and uh, you, it doesn't support relationship, all you have to do is you have to create a join here with a, with a condition. So let's start building packed circle charts. So, so first thing is I need to do is to densify my data. I will create bins and we'll set the bin size to one so that I get the 360 densified points. So once that is done, I will create a calculation index to add values for those densified points. Since I'm using uh, the number one to 360, I will just minus it by one. So with this, if you see, uh, I should have all the points, uh, densified points. So I have 360 densified points. So now uh, for densification, if you are not aware of densification, please watch out my previous uh, video on data densification, the basics of uh, densification. You can click here on the card. So to create a densified circle, I will be using two, uh, two calculate functions. One, I will be using the sign function. Uh, which uses is a radian and I will pass my index to it. So with that, uh, if you see, and my with my index, if you see here, what the sign function does is, so we just have to tell Tableau to compute all the path. And if you see here, uh, what the sign function does is, to connect the points from 1 to 360, it uses this curve line. So the another calculation I will be using is my y for my rows. I will use the cos function, cos of radians for index. And I think there is an error. Oh yeah, wait, parenthesis. So what basically it does is with the cos and sign it creates a circle. If you drag this x here, if you see these two curves, if I use it over one or other, so it will create a circle. So I don't need this index. So we have our circle now. So let's say I want to the different segments. What is their sales? So here we have three segments. If you see, since they are overlaying on each other, since cos and sine functions create a circle over a value of one and minus one, so we have these circles. And just to show all these different circles, uh, we'll modify our uh, x and y calculations. For that, I will use another cal calculation. Let's call it max sales. So here what I'm doing is I'll take the window max and sum of sales and I will just multiply it with these functions so let's see what happens so I will multiply it with both my x and y calculations max sales so the, uh, the view is broken since the calculation is modified. So we, we again have to tell Tableau to calculate compute using the path. So once we do that, so there we have our, all the circles. So now all we have to do is uh, to bring all the circles from here. So we have to subtract this radius. So for example, the red one, which is home office, I want to subtract its radius. So instead of going from uh, uh, for uh, home office from 400k to minus 400k I want to start it from 0 to 400 so to do that uh, all we have to do is multiply my y-axis uh, add to my y-axis this difference so 
so I can go to Y axis and edit it. So I will just what I do is I just copy this max sales and I will add it. So there we go, we have our circles, and then all we have to do is change it to polygon. So there is uh the what table is doing is it doesn't know how to connect these different points. So all we have to do is move this path to the path so that it creates. Now we have one more problem. It's like this consumer is overlaying uh, the corporate and the home office since it is the max uh, has the max sales. So for that we'll go to the segment and we will sort it based on our sales. So it has taken the category, but uh, to be sure we'll use the sales. So that's it we have our packed circles so the use case of packed circles might be if you want to show some graphics for example here i have been using the packed circles to show the overall uh, uh, exports for the year 2019 versus 2020 and if i just hold it uh, it's showing my the relevant uh, years data hope this helps thank you for watching